Keto Crate unboxing coming up right after this. Okay guys, welcome to the August 2021 Keto Crate unboxing. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stick around to the end of this video to learn how you could enter a chance to win your very own Keto Crate for free. Stick around. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto, so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, let's talkie talkie, more unboxy boxy. All right, okay. <laughs> So cute. The literature is back on top and look what the theme is. It is the Olympics with all of the medals being <laughs> cookies. That is so cute. I am obsessed right now. Oh, my friends, the Keto Hope dealers are in the literature this month. Oh, that's cool. You know, I've never really opened up one of these and seen people I know. Oh, Joe and Toya, that's so cool. I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with what's actually in here. So let's find that out together. Okay, first, Crazy Go Nuts Buffalo Flavored Walnuts. Ugh, I'd be interested to see how I like these. <laughs> I love spicy things. I love nuts. I don't know if I love them together. So serving size is one serving per container, 190 calories, 18 grams of fat, six total carbs, geez louise, two fiber, so that's four net carbs and then four grams of protein. The ingredients, walnuts, cayenne pepper sauce. Wow. Okay, and then eventually there is cane sugar. It says includes less than one gram of added sugar. Still, four net carbs? I don't know, but I mean, I'm gonna try it. Next we have Thin Slim's Food. Okay, this is like scary packaging, but okay, I can see the front of it. So Thin Slim Foods. Cookies, cookitos, I love that, <laughs> cookitos. See, it's like the mixture between cookie and keto, cookito, that's what I would call it. These are chocolate chip cookies. I'm assuming these are just keto mini cookies. So there are two servings per container, and as I like, they give you per container and per serving measurements. Okay, so for this whole container, there are 290 calories, 27 grams of fat, Woo, 27 total grams of carbs, there are eight grams of fiber, 17 grams of sugar alcohol. Is that two grams of net carbs for this whole bag? I don't know. Uh, and then six grams of protein. Yeah, let's do some math. 25, 26, 27. So yeah, apparently, allegedly, for this whole bag, there are two grams of net carbs. Not bad. Never heard of these before. I mean, I know of Thin Slim Foods. I think they just make breads and things like that. So I've never tried these. So I'll be excited to give them a go. Ah, oh, Hungry Buddha Keto Bar, oh, Lemon Blueberry. I think I've had these before, but I do like the Hungry Buddha Bars. I remember that. Serving size is one bar, 170 calories, 10 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, 13 fiber, so that's five net carbs, uh, and then nine grams of protein. Is there anything else in here that would lower the net carbs? Uh, I don't think so, maybe it's just five. And I mean, that's okay if you don't eat, yeah, five net carbs printed here on the label. It's okay, like if you don't eat this sort of stuff a lot, maybe you have five net carbs to spend throughout your day. But this is the lemon blueberry flavor. I know that my husband and mom will probably get more of a kick out of this than me, but I'm still interested to try it. Mmm, just the cheese. Only one ingredient, cheese. Okay, so the flavor here is grilled cheese. How do you make cheese taste like anything other than cheese? Like grilled cheese is an entire dish. It has like bread and butter and other elements. So I'm trying to figure out how you make just cheese taste like grilled cheese, right? Only one ingredient. Ingredients, cheese. Yeah, how, how, how is this gonna taste like grilled cheese? That's all I wanna know. Are there natural flavors or something? No, just, just cheese. That being said, the nutritional information, so the serving size is one container, 150 calories, 12 grams of fat, less than one total carb, and eight grams of protein. I bet this is gonna be a crunchy cheese snack and taste delicious, but like, how, how does it taste like grilled cheese? I'm, 
We'll just have to see. Ooh, Genius Gourmet Keto Snack Chips. These are chili lime. Now I've had Genius Gourmet Chips before. I forget what flavor they were and I really liked them. I feel like this bag is huge. Like it's very flat, but okay. One serving is one container, of course. Uh, there are 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, five total carbs, three fiber, so that's two net carbs, and eight grams of protein. I feel like this bag is on like the reject pile. Like I don't necessarily know if it's supposed to look like this <laughs> because the nutritional information is like creeping around the side here. Like I feel like this should be closed a little bit better. I'm just being a stickler at this point, but like two grams of net carbs. I'll be interested in trying the chili lime flavor. Ooh. High Low Life, is this a new flavor? Oh So Jalapeno, crispy pepper jack cheese and almonds snack mix up oh, with a jalapeno flavor. Like I love High Low Life. I love all of their packaging. Like this new green packaging is giving me everything. Okay, so serving size, one per container, 250 calories, 19 grams of fat, Lord Jesus. Um, five total carbs, two fiber, so that's three net carbs, totally worth it, uh, and then 12 grams of protein. I am really excited about this. Pepper jack cheese and roasted almonds. Like, I'm excited to try this. Oh, Simply Delish Instant Pudding Natural Vanilla Flavor. Now, we've had some Simply Delish Instant Pudding before, the chocolate, and it was really, really good. So there are four servings per container. I think that's the thing where I was just like, Ah, four servings per container when like really one bowl is a serving if you ask me, right? Um, but there are 25 calories, nine total carbs and four sugar alcohols. And it says less than one gram of fiber. So I'm gonna say like five net carbs in a serving and then zero grams of protein. So once again, that's like oh, five net carbs for like a quarter of a bowl of this. But regardless, I mean, it does taste really good. So what you do is you mix one packet into two cups of milk or one and a quarter cup of a milk substitute like almond, soy, coconut milk, or something else. And then you use a handheld or electric beater and mix for two minutes. And then you put it into a dish and allow it to stand for five minutes. Then it says for a delicious hot pudding, heat it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Do I want hot pudding? I'm putting this in the refrigerator. So I'll take my puddings cold. Thank you very much. It says ingredient. I mean, the first ingredient is potato starch. I mean, this definitely isn't keto friendly in terms of the in ingredients, but depending on the serving you have, if, it, if it's definitely a, if it fits your macro sort of situation, but potato starch, erythritol, emulsifiers, dextrin, like you're basically having to close your eyes and be like, mm, it says it's keto. Like, I don't know, but still it tastes good. Okay. Next we have do we have another Genius Gourmet product? Uh-oh, I see you coming through, Genius Gourmet. They have a keto shake. It is a chocolate keto shake. So let's see what the macros are. So serving size is one drink. Uh, and then there are 170 calories, 15 grams of fat, five total carbs, one fiber. So that means there's four net carbs and six grams of protein. Now, how many fat? Did it say 15 grams of fat? Okay, the ingredients, water, MCT, milk protein isolate, cream, cocoa powder. So it's basically just like the MCT shake. I don't know if it has enough fat to like be used as a meal replacement, but you know, if you miss chocolate milk or chocolate flavored drinks on keto, maybe this would be a good option. I'll be interested to try this. Oh, and then we have Perfect Keto Keto Cookies. Now, I think the last version of these we had were the Snickerdoodle. So I'm excited to try the chocolate chip. These are three net carbs per serving. Hopefully the serving is the entire mag. Yeah, serving size is two cookies, so it's the entire thing. There are 200 calories, 18 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, four fiber, five sugar alcohols, six grams of protein. Okay, so there are three net carbs for this whole container though, because they have 17 total carbs, minus four fiber, minus five erythritol, minus five allulose. So there is allulose in this. These feel softer, I think, than the snickerdoodles we have, but I'll be interested to try these. But finally, I kinda, I kinda been, you know, looking around this one. I am excited. Look at these, Catalina Crunch, 
chocolate vanilla keto sandwich cookies, right? We all know what these are supposed to be. And I've seen that Catalina Crunch has had these for a very long time. I have yet to try them. I don't know why I would want a whole box of these in my house because they wouldn't last very long, but I'm excited to at least be able to try them thanks to the keto crate, right? So I'm excited to receive these. The serving size is two cookies and there are eight servings per container. So 16 cookies, not too bad. And then 90 calories, six grams of fat, 11 total carbs, three fiber, three allulose, five net carbs, four grams of protein. Now there are two grams of added sugar in that. So this is interesting. Yeah, ingredients, palm fruit oil, pea protein, allulose, rice flour, cane sugar, chicory root fiber. I mean, once again, this is definitely a, if it fits your macro sort of situation, definitely not a super clean ingredient, but hey, if grabbing one of these keeps you from going to the real thing and if that's better for you, then go for it. I mean, I'm honestly very excited to try these because I've never had them. I've seen them all over the place, but like looking at these ingredients, I'm like, ah, Definitely not an everyday thing. Although they do have, they have vanilla cream cookies and peanut butter cookies. So that's pretty cool. They have other flavors, but still make the best ingredient choices for yourself. Okay, that is it. This crate is kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I, there are definitely some things I've been wanting to try. There are a couple things with some, you know, ingredients that I'm like, meh. And then there's just some like weirdly packaged stuff that I'm just like, was this intentional? I don't know, right? But still, the food eats, don't it, right? I'm gonna be able to taste everything and that's all that matters. And if you are interested in winning this Keto Crate, leave a comment and let me know down below which item would you be most excited to try and we will draw the winner on our Smash the Crate series. That's the monthly series where myself, my mother, and my husband actually go through and try all of these different things and let you know how they taste, okay? We make the sacrifice so that you don't have to. But other than that, I mean, I like this keto crate. There are some things that I've definitely wanted to try. If you wanna skip the line and not wait to see if you won this, definitely click the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first keto crate. Okay, now I gotta go, you know, put this stuff in the refrigerator and make some pudding for uh, Smash the Crate. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.